Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yuki once again, giving you guys another Noxbot related tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up keywords and the settings that you need to know about when setting up a keyword. So as you guys can see here, I have 12 keywords in play, but you may have noticed I have 100 to use. That is because, that is actually because I'm in a champion tier. If you're using this for free, you can only get up to 20. But once you get to champion tier of $15 per month under Patreon, you can go up to 100 keywords. So what is a keyword? Basically, the keyword in, in, in Logspot is basically a command. So exclamation mark X, where X is a command name. So for example, if we use exclamation mark boop, that will allow you to give a boop to somebody in the chat. Like, ah, uh, you know how I do in VR chat, where I say, ah, uh, and all that good stuff? That's what we do for VR chat. So you can force me to give a boop to somebody in VR chat, or you can give a boop to somebody in chat. Okay? Commands, my command list, and all that this good stuff. Let's go ahead and set up a new command so that you guys know how to work it. So click on add new keyword and you're going to see this prompt. Starts with is going to be how it starts, like exclamation mark X, exclamation mark Y. Contains means contains this word or that word. Ends with meaning it ends with this command name or exact as in exact um, word. I would say start with, we're going to say exclamation mark, hello. Now you may have noticed this word, this I said in, hey sensitive. This is exactly what it sounds like. Meaning, let's just say, for example, you want exclamation mark hello to be only in lowercase set letters. And that means if you put this case sensitive, that means you must put it in exclamation mark hello in lowercase lower letter. But I'm going to keep it like it is here. You don't have to be exact. Keyword variant means like what keywords or similar words for the main keyword. Now keep in mind about this problem though. The little hint here. If you put hello in, the, in this, you're going to automatically trigger the hello keyword thing because of the variant. I would wait to see if you're going to use this. I don't use this too much, okay? Now, the action. There are a few actions you can play with. Auto reply, which it will reply with a comment, which we'll talk about in a moment. Call out with a call out. Delete will be deleting something. List of commands, none, or Q. Q will be based on the Q system that we'll talk about in another tutorial. Okay, but the Q is basically, I want to play with you. Okay, for the most part, I go with auto reply. And we're going to say in this message area, you may have noticed there are built in variables and custom variables. I actually have a custom variable called emerald because I'm going to add a chaos emerald system in my, in my loyalty program. But for the sake of this example, let's just say hello and then comma, then the variable name with a bracket. As you can see here, this will say hello comma and then the name of the person. Okay, and then here, if you want it to cost something like a loyalty point, for example, you can also do so, but you must have enough points in order to in order to trigger this command. I say zero because I don't want anybody to use this for like a hundred rings. No, sir. Cooldown is basically what it sounds like. So that it doesn't trigger every time. You can set up a cooldown in terms of seconds. Okay. You may have noticed the sound, the sound prompt. This will allow you to play a sound 
when the command is triggered. You may have also noticed I have custom sounds. These custom sounds are from my custom sounds area, but you can upload a few of them to get started. You have, I have two custom sounds, including It's No Use from Silver, and you gotta start from Mario Party. But it's up to you if you want to trigger a sound. It's not, it's not mandatory. All right? And then you can set the volume. Enabled means you can enable this keyword, and hidden means hide the commands when, had this command, when the command trigger is collected. Once you set up all your, all your, all your parameters, you can click save. <laughs> And it's now added to your command list. As you guys can see here, we have the hello. Now, what other settings you can do? You can re-edit this using this gear icon, and it's going to go back here. And then you can also, you can also copy with this one or duplicate. As you guys can see here. Now, because I have the same word, I have to do something else. I'm going to put hello too. And I can press save and that's another one. So it's com it copies all the settings, but you have to use a different command word. And then finally, this minus icon is to delete the command altogether. Press OK and you're, you're good to go. All right. So that's the basic settings of keywords. It's like your basic command. And you can add up to 100 commands if you are a champion tier if you are a free tier you can only have up to 20 keywords okay just keep that in mind i go up to champion tier because i'm planning to like engage my audience a lot more this year in 2022 okay and our next tutorial we're going to go over timed actions for noxbot and then we're going to go over custom sounds, custom variables, and then all the cool stuff that you can do in Noxbot. So make sure you guys stay subscribed, like, and enjoy the content. But for now, I will see you all in our next tutorial for Noxbot, talking about timed actions.